what that shit do, you big old pimp, you? <laughs> I see you up in this motherfucker now, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Come here, holler at your boy, man. It's good to finally meet you, man. I <laughs> What that shit do, you big old pimp, you? <laughs> I see you up in this motherfucker now, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Come here, holler at your boy. Man, it's good to finally meet you, man. After all that time on Life Invaders, man, we friends in real life now, huh? Look at you, dude. You, like, smaller than you look in your picture, but... Oh, fuck it, it don't matter. Hey, I heard you wasn't a big talker, right? If I said... I just probably need to get settled in, got that jet lag, you know? So I got a little gift for you. Welcome to Los Santos. Untraceable. You gotta love that. Who your partner is, pimp? Who your partner is? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean that like, not like in a stalker type way or nothing. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, you do look good. You know, you know, we've been friends online for so long, you know, it's time for us to take our relationship a little bit further, you know, like in like a sexual way or something. Oh, my bad. It ain't like that. Excuse me, you know. Fuck it, that's neither here nor there. Despite the rejection, I'm still gonna help you get settled in, baby. You know? You might not be the flowers type girl, but I got something else for you. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Los Santos. Untraceable. Give me a tug kiss. My bad. Okay, let's go. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> if your idea of paradise is a place where a sick, creepy boy air can spy on anyone in the country with total impunity. <laughs> Actually, I guess that kind of is the American dream, huh? Hmm. Anyhow, uh, I digress. You have made a big name for yourself. And that name is Dangerous Idiot who's just waiting to get robbed. So do yourself a favor and put some of that uh, not-so-hard-earned money into real estate. And you can be a real player, just like me. <laughs> oh, Jesus, as I say that, I realize how depressing and pathetic I've become. I'm a, a mess, you know, uh, take pity on me. <laughs> End it now, kill me, ah! <laughs> and... I thought it was funny. Okay. Well, like I said, put some of that money into property. There's already people who want to rob you, and soon enough, there will be people who want to kill you. And if anybody gets particularly fresh, just give me a shout. I can put a bounty on them, and every whack job in the state will want to get them off your back for you. Of course, you never know. Maybe someone asked me to do it to you. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. Hello, hello! So you found the place! Well, you're the talk of the streets, my friend, and can I call you that? I feel we will be great friends. Hey, look at this place! Isn't it beautiful? A modernist wonder home, very significant. <laughs> my uh, business associate lives here. I bought it for her, uh, for him, for her, for, for her as a present, because I like her as a business associate. Anyway, here, give me that. Yes. Perfect. I will do great. Good working with you, my friend. I'll see you again. And keep this house between us. Hey! This is that person! Yeah, I know who this is, Ron. I know who this is. Come here. Hold me. Come on. Hold me like you love me. Oh, ow! Oh, I'm getting a semi. Ah, uh, uh, you know why I'm getting a semi cupcake? Huh? It's not because I want to fuck you, it's because you have been fucking me! And bang, 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 huh? Ah! Now normally, 
I have that whole beggars can't be choosers, take anything you can when it comes to love attitude. But when the love takes the form of someone shitting on my business, I'm not fucking interested! What's your problem, huh? Why aren't you scared of me? You come here. After all the trouble you've caused, I want you to get out there right now and start taking care of all those businesses you fucked over, especially mine. Now get going, get to work. Oh, ah, uh, yes, come in, come in. It's uh, good to see you again. Uh, been a while. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've never been good at small talk. I don't have many friends. Uh, I do sometimes meet people online, and then I arrange to meet them out in the real world, and then I go there, but I just I hide, and I watch them, and I think, wow, now you are experiencing 1% of what I felt my entire childhood when I spoke to a girl. Wow. I've never told anyone that before. <laughs> Feels good to talk. <laughs> so, uh... <clears throat> I know you've been complaining, but you weren't ready. Now, maybe, just maybe you are ready to do real work. I mean, are you interested? Because if you are, I have a few things uh, coming down the wire soonish. If you want, I'll contact you. But don't let me down on this. I'm putting my neck on the line, and I like my neck. It's my best feature. Aside from my sparkling conversation. When I ran agents in the field, I had to entrap them, cajole them, threaten them with deportation. You're never gonna know what I had to do. Now, apparently, all you gotta do is give them a couple bucks and a few kind words. I guess there really is no accounting for stupidity. But, and I'm serious now, as stupid as you are, you are not gonna talk about what happened here. Because your usefulness to us, well, it just ran out. And for God's sake, I hope you're professional enough to get rid of the evidence. I'm me, and you're you, and that's that. Funny. We're selling this silly old place. Not that it's ever been used for anything inappropriate. Uh, of course it wasn't. Just routine business that needs a bunker. You know how it is, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're just moving to somewhere else uh, equally routine. You know, hey, hey, hurry the fuck up! We have to leave. Come on, destroy anything you can't carry. Oh, anyway, if I were you, I'd make it a nice boutique hotel or some such. It'd be great as that. A microbrewery or record decks, hog roast. It's perfect. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, yes, we're almost done. No. No, we've destroyed everything, more or less. Up, 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 up. What are you talking about? Do it, but don't. Do it. What are you, a fucking fortune cookie? I will call you back. So, listen. I've, uh... How would you like to make some money? Good money, you know? There's no money in hog roast, but there is in this work. Hey! Stop destroying things! Some of you are staying! Let's go for a little ride, shall we? It's really lovely to meet you. As you can see, we got ample room for parking. Here's a space for a mobile operations center if you want to buy one on Warstock. Got it? Anyway, we're on a strict schedule. And this is your shooting range for target practice, team bonding. I can't hear myself think. Hey! Hey! Hey, leave the range up when you're done. We're keeping the equipment. You get the point. Our exit. Just give me a sec. 
should have just reversed. Not gonna miss these corridors. Okay, here we go. Here we are, the heart of the place. Research and manufacturing. You wanna make real money? Dirty little secret for you. It's in arms. Log into the network, request a resupply, and bring the hardware back here. The eggheads will take it apart. Cook up new, exciting ways of terminating people. Or just get them to copy existing designs. Then, you sell your weaponry to state-sanctioned actors on the global stage, make a tidy profit, and do the country proud. I got medals for this, I promise you. Come look at this. Hustle, people! We need this out of here five minutes ago. You run a good operation, you fill the whole place up. Enough arms to affect regime change in two-thirds of the world's democracies, according to the stats. How does that sound? Fantastic is how it sounds. Ugh, Jesus. Gotta get out of here. We're bombing someone tomorrow. I mean, I don't know what I mean. Doesn't matter. It's been wonderful. Remember, we never met. You never saw me. I don't know you, and anything you think I said, I didn't say, and you were delusional. Remember that. I'll be in touch. You're a hero! 